Hello guys. You may have heard about many bodybuilders, but very few of them are as iconic as Ronnie Coleman. This man was an absolute beast in his prime. After all, if your nickname is The King, then you did something right in your life. So today, we're going to take a look back at his life, and then we'll see how this legend looks now after his retirement, and how is his health condition. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, and stay tuned with HulkTube motivation. So let us begin. Ronnie Dean Coleman was born in Monroe, Louisiana on May 13, 1964. He earned a bachelor's degree in accounting from Grambling State University in 1984. He was a middle linebacker for the GSU Tigers during his time at the university. He failed to find a job as an accountant after graduation and instead went to work at a Domino's Pizza location where he ate the free pizza every day because he was so impoverished that he could barely afford to eat outside of work. He then went on to work as a police officer in Arlington, Texas from 1989 to 2000. Ronnie Coleman's co-worker Gustavo Arloda recommended that he go to the Metroflex gym, which is run by amateur bodybuilder Brian Dobson. Brian Dobson was the reason why Ronnie was a bodybuilder. Brian Dobson told Ronnie to compete so that he will give him a lifetime of free membership to his gym. Then Ronnie accepted Dobson's offer of a free lifetime membership in exchange for allowing him to train for Mr. Texas Bodybuilding Competition. That year, Ronnie took first place in both the heavyweight and overall categories of Mr. Texas. In 1995, Coleman won his first professional competition the Canada Pro Cup. In the mid-1990s, he also competed in powerlifting contests because Ronnie was genetically strong. He placed 15th in 1994, then 11th in 1995, 6th in 1996, and 9th in 1997 when Dorian Yates won his sixth and final title before retiring. Kenneth Wheeler was the favorite to win the 1998 Mr. Olympia. However, Ronnie Coleman, who had won the Knight of Champions earlier that year, was beginning to be recognized as one of the best contenders. Ronnie Coleman appeared greatly improved and won his first title, beating Wheeler by a few points. This began one of the longest streaks of victories in the history of the contest, a total of eight titles from 1998 to 2005. In 2006, he ultimately lost the Mr. Olympia title to Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler! Ronnie Coleman's last Mr. Olympia competition was in 2007, where he came in fourth. Of course, all of Coleman's hard work began to take its toll on his body over time. Despite major injuries, the champion stated he was used to living with agony and continued to train. Ronnie even admits to ignoring a herniated disc, which was one of his first significant injuries. Ronnie said he heard a loud crunch from his back while he was doing squatting one day, but he wanted to keep going since he was an athlete. In an interview with Joe Rogan, Ronnie said that the first time you create a herniated disc, it's as if you are stacking a stack of cans on top of each other and breaking one, and that after a while, others will start to fail too. Well. Injuries like this are bound to happen when you're squatting and deadlifting hundreds of pounds. So far, Ronnie has had more than 13 surgeries in his neck, hip, and spine and he was almost paralyzed due to all the screws, cages, and bolts put in him. In a 2018 interview, 
Ronnie relayed his fears after he told Muscle Development Journal that he had spent more than $2 million on surgeries that did more harm than good. So the last three surgeries I've had, I cost almost $2 million. He said, I got too much damage from all these surgeries, and that it was largely due to the way the surgeon performed the operations. Coleman further said that the surgeon who performed in his last three operations was very bad and caused a lot of damage to his body, so he didn't know if he could ever walk normally again. To give his fans an idea about the extent of his injuries, Ronnie Coleman said that he had to go to the hospital in February 2018 where the doctors had to have his intestines pulled out and screws put in and out of his back. The doctors simply couldn't open up his back again as there was a lot of scar tissue there. In September 2019, he had to undergo his 10th round of surgery as the screws that had been put in during the surgery in 2018 had broken down and needed to be replaced. In 2020, Coleman appeared on a podcast with Joe Rogan, where he discussed how taking steroids had affected his life. He revealed that he needed testosterone replacement therapy after long-term steroid use. This is a scenario that bodybuilders and sportsmen frequently find themselves in. When a person uses steroids on a regular basis, their body is unable to produce enough testosterone on its own. To put it another way, TRT is the act of assisting the body in maintaining a normal amount of testosterone when it can no longer do so on its own. Ronnie Coleman recently began stem cell therapy in Mexico. Getting ready to do the Reagan, Reagan mix stem cells. Coleman seemed to be getting excellent benefits after only a few sessions. In a recent video, the legend discussed how he received stem cell shots and how they have improved his life so far. Coleman said that every time he gets a therapy session, the pain gets better and better. You've been in Mexico getting some stem cell treatment. How's that going? It's going good. Uh, every, every time I get one, it gets better and better. So he intends to keep undergoing the therapy. He said that most of the pain is gone now and that only a little bit is left. You did say that you're in a lot of pain. Are you still in pain? No, no, no. That's okay. gone now. A little bit now. Not, not, not a lot at all. We can only hope that as Coleman continues to get stem cell therapies, he will be able to fully recover. And hopefully, we will see Ronnie Coleman make a strong comeback soon. It still ain't nothing but a peanut. <laughs> well, with that, we come to the end of the video. Leave your opinions in the comments below. Wait, baby. Wait. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.